Dear Diary, keep this confidential. Tonight I has gone out with Stella again. She's that cute little upstairs maid. I is so crazy about Stella. We'll have plenty to tell you later, dear Diary. Come in, son, come in. Hi. Oh, writing in your diary again, huh? Well, I don't see nothing wrong with it. It's kind of nice to look in now and then to see if I've been having a good time. <laughs> Tell you the truth, there's a lot of stuff in here that I ain't got no business looking at. Sono lieto di poter rievocare in poche parole le esperienze delle prime trasmissioni radiotelegrafiche a grandi distanze da me felicemente eseguite attraverso l'oceano atlantico il 12 dicembre 1901. Republic of Avalon Radio. It's zero hours Avalon Standard Time. with the roar and uh here we go again you know we're gonna start out the same way you wouldn't even know you wouldn't be able to tell what episode you were listening to unless there was you know something else like that music or whatever but uh yeah it's the same old thing oh it's a beautiful night here in the republic of avalon <laughs> blah 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 all that stuff but it is and it's mm. calm as a clock it is there's a bit of mist in the air too however calm a clock is supposed to be <laughs> Yeah, it, clock isn't cl- clock isn't very calm, really. <laughs> when you think about it, is it? Is it a blooper? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, yeah. But I mean, a clock is constantly grinding oh, away. Yeah, it is, definitely. So calm as a clock is that kind of like? I've never heard that before. I sweat, s- sweating like a pig, because yeah. pigs don't perspire. <laughs> I bizarre one. Where yeah. do these things come from? I have no idea. But we know where we come from, and we know where we're going. <laughs> we know where, we're, yeah, we do. We're leaving Babylon. We're leaving Babylon. We're going to our father's land. Yes, <laughs> we're coming, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking our time. We're just moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. No, will you really? Uh-huh. Forget about me after I'm gone. No. Yeah. No, it's us <laughs> moving on. Yes, exactly. Are we, are we oh, going to forget about yes. them? That's the question. Exactly. Well, you know what? There's a goodly number uh, of, of folks in this world that I think I would just as soon forget. Yeah. <laughs> Come to think of it. There are some. You know, there's this whole notion. I was thinking about it briefly today. Mm-hmm. The more you get to know about the world and people in general and stuff, you know, there's, there's a lot of really just frustrating stuff going on in the world and 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 a lot of people going along with things and being fans of things and cheering for things and whatever kings and queens and presidents and prime ministers and hollywoods and things like that just gossip Mm -hmm. columns and 
blah, 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 whatever. And I mean, it's it all comes from, you know, uh, uh, people are indoctrinated into that. That's the whole thing. So, you know, you can't blame, you can't blame the youth, you know? You teach the youth about Christopher Columbus and you said he was a very great man. You teach the youth about the pirate Morgan and you said he was a very great man. You teach the youth about the pirate Hawkins and you said he was a very great man. You know, all that kind of thing. So you can't blame the youth, you know? Exactly, yeah. Because all they're doing, I said in uh, a song on my most recent album, Revolution Time, there's a line in a song called Mash It Up that says, you can't blame the children for all the things you do. And brainwash education just makes you the fool. You know, in other words, you know, you get what you, you reap what you sow. And if you plant, if you plant turnips, uh, you shouldn't expect to grow carrots. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know what any of you wonderful listeners might think about all of that kind of stuff. But I think there's a sort of a fine line between, okay, you can't blame the youth, but at the same time, they can bloody well get on your nerves. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, they say guns don't kill people, people kill people. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's true, but, uh, you know, either which way, if somebody's just going around killing people, let's get the gun away from them, you know? See, yeah, definitely. The idea of good people with guns, mm -hmm. that's one thing. Good, honest, hardworking people with guns should fear should should strike fear in no one's heart mm, no. you know Surely. but nasty venomous criminal yeah. thieves and mm -hmm. you know ne'er-do-wells with guns yes. should uh, be a cause of great yeah. concern you know and, and you know um, the last thing you want to see is a bunch of uh, men with guns getting angry <laughs> A bunch of men with guns getting angry. That's not a good idea. No, and that's pretty well, I mean... It's some form of war here. Yeah. Bringing well, to mind. I, I've seen, um, I think it was a documentary on oh, what they hold do. Oh, hold on, hold on. Folks, we're going to do a little thing. I'm just going to make sure of something here. Sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. what, what's this on? Uh, it's on... Um, 30, 31. I think it's 31. Yeah. 30 there. Yep. Okay. I just wanted to make sure, folks, that we had a good level set and we weren't just going to end up wasting our time <coughs> recording uh, something that we weren't, weren't going to use. Maybe hold that in your other, in your left arm. Okay. Because, uh... It's too, a bit too loud. It... Yeah. Or it's just too na much. Now, now it's just not noticeable at all. I think the song is finished, though. Oh, really? Yeah. You think that's what's causing it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a fade out. Yeah. Ah, not a fade away, a fade out. Okay. But yeah, that whole idea, okay, you know, the people say, you know, somebody does something and it's a kind of a cop-out to blame society. Well, I don't think it's a cop-out to blame society, but I think the person has to be held accountable for their actions. But I think at the same time, if if the problem, if if the original, if the root of that problem, if that person's acting out and doing whatever it is that they have to be accountable for is traceable to the society, mm -hmm. then there shouldn't be anything wrong with anybody pointing that out and maybe suggesting that uh, the, the maybe we should improve the society so as to create less of these people and uh, who are going to be acting out and yeah, doing these yeah. things, you know? Yes. <clears throat> it's, it's mm -hmm. you know, instead of just straight out uh, allopathy where where we just create a, a, an evil, uncaring, uh, psycho, psychopathic society. And then we just like, you know, just make tougher sentences, you know, give them 10 years for it, give them, a, yeah. give them, give them 500 10 year sentences yeah. and, and whatever, you know, and just yeah. up, the, up the punishment. And, and I don't think that works. I think the, the problem, <clears throat> when you got a young, uh, an angry young man, for example, out in the world, uh, because, he grew up in a system where he didn't have anybody sh to show him any sort of constant care and consideration and teach him right from wrong and you know mom and dad were all you know off working and and all this and he's growing up uh, basically he's being raised by the state and and that should tell you something too about the whole nature of the state 
if children are being raised in daycare centers and public schools, and and then they're you know going out as very uh, degenerate uh, people who don't really seem to have much common sense, who don't really seem to have much consideration or respect for other people, and so on and so forth. That should tell you uh, a little bit of something. When the state raises children, here's what happens. And when parents raise children, here's what happens. You know, like homeschooling. I mean, the numbers are through the roof in terms of if you're homeschooled, uh, the, the, the kids in the public school can't even compete with you. You know, yeah, yeah. they come out, you know, a lot of kids who are homeschooled get through the curriculum a lot quicker. They're, they don't have to wait till they're 18. They can get through. <coughs> they can get through all the stuff that the state requires of you. Yeah. Some of them by 13 or 14 and 15, and you know, then they're off to university if they want to do that or whatever. So I don't know. I guess my original thought is, you know, do you blame? I'm saying it's difficult to, even though you know that the person is just kind of jumping on a bandwagon. I'm not even talking about people going out killing people. I'm talking about a lot of the ideas people have in their heads. Even though those ideas were put there, it's, it can still be frustrating. Those people themselves can still be frustrating, even though you know that they're just basically singing somebody else's song and they never even wrote that song. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. Anyway, that's my thought. <laughs> That was a good thought. Yeah? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's fair, fair play? Absolutely. All right, then. So, we are walking on a very, very still night here in the Republic of Avalon. No wind in, in this episode. You won't oh. be getting any wind in this one. It's yeah. very nice, isn't it? It's rare, it's rare that we uh, don't have any wind, actually. Well, outdoors, yeah. Outdoor, it's yeah. kind of like a... Like a perfect environment. This is sort of, if you could set it to be like this in, inside your house. Yeah. You would. Yes, indeed. And everybody would be walking around and sleeping and doing whatever. And nobody would be hot or, or cold. No, it's just, it's, uh, the air is circulating, but it's, it's not stifling, but it's not windy. No. Nope. It's face. about, it's, it's about, I'd say probably about 22 degrees 21 degrees I, I'll, I'll give it a 21 uh -huh. and seems like slightly above average humidity yeah. but not it's not stifling by any means no, it's and perfect. the wind is at about probably you know gusting at five kilometers an hour yeah. <laughs> if it's even that how fast do you think we're walking uh, we're walking about probably about five kilometers an hour yeah so there's no resistance. Well, actually, five <laughs> kilometers. Isn't the average walking speed five, five miles an hour? I think so. Mm -hmm. So we're actually walking probably more like eight kilometers an hour. We're, we're faster than your average walker. Or we're, oh, oh, you and I? Yeah. We do clip along at, at an above actually. average pace, yeah. Yeah, I it's, like walking fast. Well, I don't think yeah, about it, really. Fast. No, me neither. It's like comfortable for me, though. But I always got that all while I was growing up. I was always walking faster than everybody Same else. Same with me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I used to get that all the time. And uh, sometimes I'd be walking with friends, you know, and I'd be like, way. And I'd be, uh, it was hard to walk at their pace. like to. Being in Paris ahead. makes John Helliwell feel very logical. Yeah, illogical. It's fascinating. Illogical. Logical. logical. Very cool. fascinating. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, it's time to get down to the swing town, folks. Yeah, getting down to the swing town. We're dancing on the on the on the roar. I like that episode where we grew taller. What can we do tonight? <laughs> we could get smaller. Okay. All right. So let's. Uh, what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to shrink down. Okay. Yeah, here we go. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> we're little small people now. Here we are, we're little small people, and we're just walking down the street, and, and it's it's, uh, it's pretty awesome down here, but, uh, right close to the sidewalk. It's very interesting. I feel like I'm, wow, everything is so big. Yeah, look. Oh, she whiz, look at that cat. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from that cat. Okay, let's go back up to uh, normal size again. Okay. That cat looks uh, looks hungry. Oh, I don't like it down here. It's All right, scary. here we go. One, two, three. 
Uh, we're back to normal size again. Wow, that was bizarre. Wasn't it nutty? Oof. Did you see the? I the, recommend that one again. Did you see the the, the, the carpenter on the uh, on the sidewalk? I did. It was and like the size the, of a Volkswagen. The snail was what really got me. It was kind of the wow. snailosaurus. The snailosaurus, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Things look pretty scary down there. Uh huh. I, I thought you know a thesaurus was. Uh, Something that you looked up words in, uh, you know, back in, in prehistoric times. <laughs> what kind of words would you find in, the, in there, do you think? <laughs> like, uh, and stuff like that. <laughs> another word, another word for uh. <laughs> yeah, a synonym for uh. Og. Language. Og. Og. Aga baga. Aga baga. Aga boo, boo, Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> That was the uh, comedian caveman. Yes, I had a thing I thought of the other day, like a kind of a band name. It's fun sometimes to sit back and think of potential album names or potential names for groups. And I had one. It was uh, maybe, maybe. Oh yes, I remember. It was either the secret, the secret milkshakes, or just mm -hmm. secret milkshakes. Huh. I like secret milkshakes. But you know what I mean? You know where it's coming from? No. It's, it's instead of secret handshakes. Ah, It's nice. the secret milkshakes. <laughs> you know? Clever. Uh -huh. My favorite band name that you ever came up with, uh, with was... Uh, Flappy and the Lapdogs? <laughs> no, it was uh, our friend who was looking for a band name for her oh. group who played some ABBA covers in a metal did we ever style? Did we ever talk about that before on know. here? Maybe, I don't know. It sounds familiar, but maybe you did or maybe you didn't. Well, know. I'll tell you again, folks. Uh, yeah, there was somebody talking to me one night about uh, a, a heavy metal, like a, 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 a hard metal group that did all ABBA covers. And so I kind of thought about that for a little while and I came up with a name for the group Abba Cadaver <laughs> it is brilliant it's not bad not bad no. Oops. not bad so anybody out there you want to form a group play like very really speed metal versions of Abba songs Abba Cadaver is the uh, is the name of the group yes indeed yes Jim Yes. We've got some Mike Oldfield going over here. We got Mike Oldfield uh, on the box there, and we're getting close to that bridge, aren't we? The if, you know, overpass. This, uh, I, last night we came under this uh, spotlight, and I've said this before, and the light turns off. Yeah. Did it again. Yeah. Yes, it's supposed to do that. But why would it feel like off when you're walking under it? I don't know. It makes no sense to me. Me neither. I mean, you think it would go on when you're walking under it? You would think. Like Seems like attempted sabotage. Yeah. How many people trip right at that spot? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, there we have it. So, we've been, uh, you know, again, by the time you hear this, it's well sort of done. But uh, we've been telling you, a little, telling you a little bit about we're updating uh, the show <clears throat> and getting it... That one went off too, sorry. <laughs> getting it off over onto our own server and going to save us a... A, a bit of money and you know do, do something ourselves instead of paying somebody else to to do it and all that and uh, we actually got to the point this evening where on our little test feed that we have that's not gone live yet we actually managed to get a show into the feed with show notes and everything intact and uh it looks like it's going to work. Yeah, it is. I, I'm seeing the possibilities. We had a little bit of a hard time. Yeah, but it's it's not really clear, you it's know. It's not intuitive. No. That's for sure. You have to kind of poke around at it and what, see how yeah. it works. Yeah, but once you're clumsy around with it a bit yeah. and uh, so on and get it working, well, once it's working, you just don't change it back and it'll keep working. Exactly, yeah. One would hope. <laughs> but yeah, the whole idea of uh, <clears throat> you know generating our own feed, and and I would I think I think I would like to once we get all the episodes in there, 
get it all straightened away. I would like to actually bring our feed up in an editor. Mm -hmm. And now I don't know if it rewrites all that stuff every time. That's, that's something I'm not sure of. Or does it just change certain information in the feed? I don't know. But what I'm hoping to be able to do is customize the feed. Just bring it up in a text editor and say the verbiage, you know, when you go into the feed, what it, what it says there, mm -hmm. as in, you know, feed, blah, blah, blah. We can have it say whatever we want. Republic of Avalon Radio. Okay. We could have the Roar logo th oh. there. Okay. You know, whatever, you know? Yeah. And uh, so... The point is, you know, uh, when you do something yourself, you actually have okay. options that you don't have when you get somebody else to do. Right. I tape. think this is actually going to be, work better in the long run. Uh, very well could. Yeah. yeah. It could be possible. Well, the whole thing is that we have, we also have another backup now, like our own backup though, you know? Yeah. Pretty well. One thing I'm curious about is, where's the image? Yeah, there's, there's supposed to be an image with a with a show, with a podcast. Yeah. Where's the there image? There's no option to put an image in anywhere, was there? I didn't see it. Mm. But it doesn't mean it's not there. No. Because it's also baffling. There's so much there and you don't know what any of it means, you know? Now, actually, maybe you could uh, just put an image within the article. Remember how it, it puts the show into an article? I almost half yeah. think I remember, now that I'm thinking about it, mm. there being an image link. Yeah, that was in the, uh, that's in the article part of it? No, no, it no? was out when we were oh, really? trying to, uh, you know, trying to uh, publish the that first episode. Okay. I think I remember seeing <laughs> image. Oh, okay. Well, that would be great, of course. Yeah. Something that you can just pull down. And yep. Pull. It's nice, you know, for people on their iPhone or their iPod Touch or whatever, when they're going through their shows, through their podcasts, you know, some of them don't have images. And you got to squint and read the text. But if if you got the, the logo of the show image there, yeah. then they can quite easily see it. And I think it's just a considerate thing nice, to do for yeah. the listener, really. Absolutely. So we go through the extra work and make it easier for you. But I think it's nice to uh, have the logo. You know, the logo is brand the you know well it's the recognizable the re thing exactly so actually i know they call it a brand but say, that's, uh, i don't like that yeah, word i don't know you know i never did like that word like when they call uh designing a logo branding yeah or branding your company or whatever well it's it yeah like, it's like just it's like that whole idea of cattle, cattle yeah <laughs> the heck with that i ain't yeah, no cattle exactly. <laughs> they are feed us with are you ready for your they feed us with prattle and they think of us as cattle. But the thing they don't know is when yes turns to no, we're going to win ja battle. Yes. <laughs> That's from uh -huh. Reality Time. Another song on my most recent record, Revolution Time. Yeah. If, if uh, by the way, if you don't have that yet, race over to jimfiddler.com and buy it now. Now. Get over there right now. That album is uh, something that you should have. Definitely. Especially. Everybody should have it. It's like the... Uh, Citizens Bible. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's not just a bunch of songs about dancing and driving cars and stuff. But at the same time, uh, the, the music itself is very, you can do, you know, very drivable, very danceable, very all that kind of stuff. It's not one of these yeah. solemn, kind of oh, dreary, no. depressive yeah. albums at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you did the, both of it. Like, there's a message, but it's also like, wow, you know, you could just kind of dance or it's, it's good great driving music too yeah but then uh, yes the music is excellent she likes it I think I like it, it <laughs> and I'm not just biased <laughs> no she's not just she's biased but she's not just biased yeah <laughs> she's other things too yeah <laughs> yes indeed so as I said by the time you are hearing me well here's the thing if we get this done and get it working you'll be hearing what I'm saying here right now a lot quicker because we won't have to wait we won't have to worry about the quota over on the Libsyn server I can just go ahead if we get this all up working tomorrow or the next day uh, within the next few days the five or six backlog shows that we have I'll just boom 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 put them all up in one great thrust 
and get us caught up because I mean I'm talking about things and things are coming up I'm talking in one episode about the, the, the you know a few episodes ago talking about uh, me playing at the festival and you know that festival's getting pretty close in fact by the time you hear me now if we get it up this week then the festival is still yet to come mm-hmm. it's on what's the date uh, the 6th I believe the 6th of August now is the first. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, it's Saturday. So if that's the sixth, and I'm playing at three o'clock in the Francophone tent in Bannerman Park, uh, that's if all goes well with our new feed. You'll you'll hear me saying that in advance. Otherwise, I just talked about something that's already come and gone, and it's ancient history. Mm-hmm. So let's hope now that we get this out before the festival so anybody hearing this can uh, who might be interested in coming down and checking out my nickel performance uh, can know about it in advance and do it and not miss it it's a nice little uh, then i don't know what you call it it's not really a venue as such but it's, yeah. a, it's a nice uh, layout that they have yeah it's the, the tent it's the yeah. francophone tent they do it up really nice and uh very with chairs and artwork and all kinds of stuff. Really Lots of artwork, yeah. yeah. So uh, there you have it. Yeah, it's kind of music and uh, kind of a, a, an art exhibition at the same time. and mm-hmm. Kind of brings it all together, which makes sense mm-hmm. to me because, you know, it's all art when you think about it. Music and mm-hmm. painting and sculpting and mm-hmm. poetry and, you know all that stuff it's all it's all art sure it is indeed indeed mm-hmm. it's like a artistic expression yes a lot of artistic children these days <laughs> and who are becoming artistic adults <laughs> yes that's right <laughs> Used to be artistic kids, now they're turning into artistic uh, grown-ups. I do find that weird. The first time I heard of an uh, artistic <laughs> person being in his 20s, I thought, wow. You know, because yeah. like, I remember for the first time I ever heard of somebody having that condition. It you know? was just like a childhood thing. Yeah, like you never, you just think of it as children. But actually, now I wonder, I wonder now, here's the thing, the percentages... Oh. You don't have to believe me, folks. It used to be something like one out of every 30,000, not that long ago. <clears throat> and now it's getting down to like one out of 50, I think, wow. for male-born children. Uh, so that's quite the... Uh, I was saying that to somebody one day, and they said, no, it's not. I was like, what do you mean, no, it's not? <laughs> go, go look it up. Oh, I don't believe that stuff. Okay, whatever. Believe what you want to believe. Yeah, really. You know? I know. I mean, the st- I don't trust uh, statistics. Uh, you know, I mean, statistics are what they are, you know? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they, they might be inaccurate. So maybe they're saying one out of 30,000. Now they're saying one out of 50 when it's actually, you know, one out of 72 or one out of 41 or I don't know, whatever. And that stat might be five years old. Look at Might it, yeah. actually be one out of 38 now. I don't know. Uh, whatever it is, it's way too high. It's way too high, yeah. It's like... Uh, too many artistic... Uh, yeah. <laughs> too many artistic children. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's all we were talking about, folks. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. No controversy around us. Uh-uh. Flies don't even come near us. Flies don't? No. No, they don't, actually. <clears throat> so, no flies on us. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Now, do people down here seem to be angry tonight, or generally contented, or...? Well, so far so good. We're just getting into the downtown now. Okay. Just getting into the zoo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was thinking last night... The human zoo. George we, Street, the human zoo. Yeah. We heard uh, quite a bit of, like, wow, bordering on violence last night, and... Uh, I was thinking to myself, why is it that everybody finds that it's acceptable down why here? Why is it acceptable to, to go out in public and just be negative and shouting and 
trying to start fights with people and threatening people yeah. and all that. But it's like when it's down here or downtown. It smells high. Me too. Whoa, we yeah. have an oil spill or what? <laughs> it's like people find it, it's acceptable, you know, they're just having a fight over there, you know, or they're, this guy is just, you know, somebody just making a, a really bad fool of themselves. Boy, I smell oil. Mm. There's so many cars. No, it's not cars. It's no. oil. Oh my gosh. It says, you know, as in like a tank of oil oh. leaking or something. I think we're past it now. Yeah. All right, folks, we're coming into the into the zoo, the zoo zone. Here we are. Zoo land. Zoo land. The human zoo land. Yeah. Folks, they are going to be right back. They are Kilkenny crew. I just don't understand it. I, I just, I've never, excuse me, I've never had any trouble with Kenny. Kenny? Yeah. What, what's Why that crew wants to kill him is way beyond me. Uh, kill, kill, kill Kenny crew. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, he he. That's good. I got distracted there. There's so much going on. Yeah. Oh. There was quite a considerable amount going on there. There's a lot of like. Boy, I tell you, it's people everywhere tonight. Yeah. Such a nice night, I guess. All over the world. <laughs> people. Yeah, so like, like we were talking about before, this whole thing with them people folks. Mm -hmm. And then you realize you are one. So yeah. it's funny how many people I run into uh -huh. who have such a low opinion mm -hmm. of humanity and the human species. And... Uh, but of course, it's they're not talking about themselves, it's everybody else but them. Yeah. So, human beings are greedy and nasty and this and that, and that's all there is to it. That's their, that's their explanation for everything that goes on in the world, because, you know, rich, powerful men never get together and make plans for the future. I've heard people say that too, that basically, yeah. Every, all the bad human. stuff in the world is just because we uh, are born as like evil babies. I saw, actually, there was a, in the entertainment section of the paper today, yeah. there was a, kind of a review on a movie that somebody had just made. And uh, I'm just sketching, you know, kind of reading bits and pieces of it. And yeah. uh, basically, this, uh, this movie is all about, like, the premise of it is that human beings are monsters. Yeah. Like, they're vicious. Yeah. And what the, is, they follow around like 11 people uh -huh. in the movie, you know, characters, and it shows yeah. how bad these people actually are. Uh -huh. And um, there's never any resolution to it, apparently. Like, they don't get better. They don't get better in the movie. You know how sometimes you have these characters. So where did, they, where did they pick their 11 people, I wonder? You know, like, where did they pick these people to go on these stupid oh, human that, TV shows? It's just made up, actually. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. It's total, total fiction. <laughs> yeah. But of course, it, it's total fiction that that that, that uh, millions and do, millions yeah. and millions of dollars were, were, were spent on yeah. that people are going to go away, you know, with an impression from. Well, I, I don't. It doesn't sound like a kind of movie that would be very interesting to watch, actually. Uh, probably not. No, what the heck? What? what how, how can can a piece of fiction? Anyway, whatever. Yeah. Well, you know. I mean. There's such thing as constructive fiction. Yeah, there is. I think you can you can you can compose uh, fiction that will. It's a matter of whether you're constructive or destructive with it. I think is the question. Exactly. Yeah. You know. For sure. For sure. Are you trying to help out here, or are you just trying to make everything worse? Yeah. You know. Yeah. I always find that real life is, you know, like from the perspective myself doing, you know, some film work. Right. I find for myself that real life is a lot more interesting than trying to put together something, a fictional thing, you know? Yeah, With make really ham something up or make something up, stuff. yeah. I figure, what's the point? Although I love movies, I really do. But well, I wouldn't want to make one myself, like not a movie where there's actors kind of thing. Yeah, well, never say never, but I, I know what you mean. Never. Yeah, you're right. You know, it's like, like music, for example. We get to... Uh, musicians together and we rehearse and we learn parts and we play them together 
you know what I mean? It's not just a big open jam session. It's not all real, true spontaneity. No, you know, it's true. there's planning involved, and it's just the way it is with anything. Yeah. Uh, but I do know what you mean about the acting thing. Because really, in effect, what you're doing when, when you're acting, I, I know I've said this before, you're lying. You're, yeah. you're, you're, you're pretending to be somebody that you're not. Yeah. And getting paid for it. And you're making up a story like... Well, you're not making up the story. You're just acting. Somebody so else made up the story. Right, yeah. Somebody made up a character. It's not you. And you're going to pretend that you're that character. It's kind of funny, really, isn't it? It's lying. <laughs> the other thing that gets me is girls singing folk songs uh, that are all about being in love with a girl. I call that lesbo folk. You know? Hey. Get a little bit of uh, djembe action on the go. Yeah. He's actually playing it, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they have uh, these people on the corner, you know, you, they have the instruments, but they're not actually playing them. Uh huh. I mean, they're banging on them, but they're not really. So, who were those lads? Uh, they, I don't know. Well, it's the first time I've seen them. They're kind of the ones, you know, with the. The electric guitar? No, that's no? not him, no. They look like, you know, we've been talking about before how you like have the, these. Like the BC crowd? Yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Again. It's our theme song again. Yes. <laughs> See, there's thousands and thousands, and thousands of songs in there, so it's pretty phenomenal that that comes up again. I it think. is actually. What ads? Wow. <laughs> That's an expression in Newfoundland. People say what ads. What it means is uh, uh, who cares. But what ads? When you think about it, means what is the likelihood or what is the yeah. the probability of something. So. I kind of use it like that sometimes too for fun, okay. you know. Like I say, I don't buy lottery tickets. What odds? You know. We we. Ah, yeah. Walk on. Ah. Boo! <laughs> 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 yeah. Walk right by you. Head and shoulders, right? We're past our boo days. <laughs> These are the yay days. No, I'm boo hoo. <laughs> Indeed. Uh -huh. So you guys heading down there, right? We are indeed. Yeah, we'll pop down there. Okay. Yeah, we'll Come on. Come on. So what place is that right there? Huh? That was junk. Oh, the rose. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, now we're doing our usual uh, fast walking thing. Actually, Lillian's walking kind of slower now for some reason. I don't I know you're why. Faster. Um, maybe I'm walking faster I think too. You're walking a little faster, and I'm walking a little slower. So well, I kind of, I think, faster. I think what it is is I'm coming in for a landing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kind of like you know putting down the flaps and lowering the landing I'm gear. I'm putting my brakes on a bit too early. And maybe. you're putting your brakes on too early. Wait till we touch the ground first. Okay. Right there. Coming in for a landing. Yes. Fasten your seatbelt. Uh huh. So uh, we're going to have some, be featuring some content from uh, Michael Meekins very soon that uh, he recorded for us and uh, of course we had a little chat with him a few episodes ago. He was visiting here from uh, South Carolina, long time uh, stalwart uh, Roar listener mm -hmm. and he says he's got some ideas, he wants to contribute a few other things too. And you know, you guys bear that in mind. If you ever have anything you think you'd like to contribute to the roar, it is a kind of a treasure trove of uh, of memories and things, you know, or or things that will be memories in the future. So bear that in mind. And if you you have a little a little future memory that you'd like to throw into our basket, where you know you'll be able to find it at some point in the future, please please feel free and hey. Please, please feel free. Go to our website at republicofavalonradio.com and get in touch with us there, and and we'll put it on for you. Yay. Little, uh, well, little throwback there. Uh, we'll put it on for you. I wonder how many people know where that comes from. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, folks, we're uh, we're checking out here. We're about to go in very shortly. Where Mike Hanrahan and uh, Anthony, Anthony McDonald. McDonald are playing. 
And a beautiful summer night. Mm, it's gorgeous. 2010, 2010, 2010. Yes. So yeah. you guys, you guys, uh, be good to each other. Be good to yourselves, and uh, roar on with your bad selves. Yes. And we, uh, it's been a pleasure for us to do this tonight because we're having so much fun. As it always <laughs> is. Yes. <laughs> All right then. All right then. See y'all later. Bye. Bye y'all. See ya. Seller Production.